All right, so when you boot up this game for the very first time, you're greeted by this crazy ass lady. We'll see her in a second right here. Hello, welcome to the Detroit experience. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. Before we begin, let's make some adjustments to optimize your experience. These language settings were detected on your console. Are they correct? Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> it's Skynet and Google all together. But I do appreciate that they give you the option for subtitles because sometimes subtitles of video games are so small, it's like, the hell? What are these subtitles for ants? Please adjust your screen settings. She is like eerie <laughs> looking up. That's all I gotta say. Thank you. Now select your profile. Next step, Skynet. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Nick. As always, you can call me Touch Ninja, and this is going to be a full Let's Play walkthrough of Detroit Become Human. This is a PlayStation 4 exclusive that is about to release. Got to play it a little bit earlier. And yeah, all I know about this game, haven't been following trailers or anything because I like to go into things blind, but it is made by Quantum Quantic Dream, the people who made Beyond Two Souls as well as Heavy Rain. So kind of get the feel of what the gameplay is going to be like. It's going to be like one of those decision-making games, kind of like what Telltale does, but in this case, your decisions will actually <laughs> mean something by the end of it. See, you can actually lose a character. So anyways, got to make this first episode very long. Let's get us started, get us well into it. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the full series. As always, if you are, likes are greatly appreciated. And other than that, let's get going. I are experienced. When this sign is displayed, please do not turn off your console. You are now ready to begin Detroit. Remember, this is not just a story. This is our future. You can't tell me how to live my life, lady. Oh, one thing I need to also mention is that this review copy was provided by Sony PlayStation for purposes of me just playing the game, not getting paid anything, but they did provide it and I have to say it. These are their two face. Easy. Negotiator on site. Repeat. Negotiator on site. Graphics feel pretty good on point. Look pretty good. Can't really feel graphics. <laughs> Analyzing. Oh no. Do we gotta take notes? Is there a test gonna be at the end of this? Because I didn't study. Yeah, man, save that fish. Save it. You watch, man. That's gonna be the end of all this. Saving that fish will mean. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You. Why aren't you sending a real person? Jesus, man. I have feelings too. Ooh. Got some like minority report stuff going on here. Cock blocked. Can't go in. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> it's firing at everything that it moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. 
Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. <laughs> Probability of success. 48%. Twist. Is yellow important? Yes. Yellow is important. So basically, it's like detective mode from the Telltale games or Batman in general. I don't think this is going to give me any more information here. Good. <laughs> that increased it by 2%. <laughs> Every little bit helps. Ass Rock Lee, man. Okay. Let's head into the kid's bedroom. Looks like we're some sort of negotiator of some type. About to calm the fires. You're kind of weird snooping. What is this? iPad 20. This is I think it costs at least $3,000. Might be uh, Chinese currency at this point, though, so. That's not enough. I need more. I need more information. Do not hear gunshots. There's gotta be something else here. We established there's the bathroom. Oh shit! All units hold positions. The negotiator's going in. Guys, taking pot shots at me. Upper lung hemorrhage. His name's Daniel. Reconstruct. Holy shit, things got gnarly right there. <laughs> got shot in the back. Better in the back than toilet though, I guess. Woo! It's got gnarly real quick. I 
Aha. Need more dialogue. Shit. Gotta replace him with the new Asian model. It happens to all of us. God. I don't want to get too close to the door because then things may just trigger and bad stuff happen. That gave us a look on the outside. Turn off the pot. That is creepy. You relax, dude. You relax. No more shoe sting, no more! Stay sharp. Everybody ready to go in any second. This guy is a freaking sharpshooter, man. Jesus. GSR. underneath the table. Oh man, where's your piece? Don't do it, boys. Don't do it. Put that back. Gonna do the non-violent method here. Seven percent teal. Look for more yellow. Don't put that in your mouth. Oh, what the hell are we playing here? What is this, Rosafon? Jesus Christ, he has blue blood. Oh! What the fuck are you doing? You gotta talk to it or what? Oh, what the hell? No! Go back out. Oh, shit. Don't got a choice, got too close. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! Go, go, go! Hi, Daniel! Now, my name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. Oh my god, what? Slowly. I'm not going to hurt. 
hurt you. I just want to talk and find a solution. Talk? I don't want to talk. It's too late for that now. It's too late. She betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Then you'll know. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with it. Uh. Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No. It's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them. You know? But I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. He's becoming human. on every roof. Let the hostage go. You have no other choice. I want everyone to leave. Oh, that's bad. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. We're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Shit's intense. Okay. I trust you. Oh, he's about to take a bullet to the head. 100%. Yup. Those guys are terrible shots. to me, Connor. You lied to me. <laughs> Got him! Flow charts. About to get my nerd on. Oh, look at all the other options. Lots of other shit could have happened. But I'm a nice person, so I think we chose the right thing. Alright, so let's continue, shall we? This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and dialects. And handles the kids' home care. Elementary school up to good <laughs> What? Can I help? <laughs> Why are they all Asian? Why are they all Asian? Oh. I was about to say why are they all ethnic, but there is a white dude right then. Looks like James Franco is in the house right now. 48 months interest free credit. 
painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. At night, it switches to surveillance mode and contacts emergency services if there's a break-in or if it detects smoke. Excuse me, how much is that one over there? The MP800 is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Thank you. Come along. And we're good. Can I go pick it up? Uh, yeah, I don't like this guy. There it is. It's a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Dude, that guy was like straight up pedo. He did something bad to me, I can tell. I like the name Kara. It's so anime. So kawaii. This is how I picture Tokyo, because I've never been there. Just bright lights and shit everywhere. <laughs> the future is now. It's a good and a bad thing, written by David Cage. <laughs> is that who I think it is? Yeah, it's Dr. Jackson Avery. <laughs> Any Grey's Anatomy fans out there? Look at that strut. Oh. Retrieve order. This guy's a running assistant. <laughs> what? Guess he doesn't have a heart attack. Slave labor. No wonder they revolted. Well, I guess that there's gonna be a revolt. <laughs> Bitch, please! What? That disrespect. Our schools, our factories, they take our jobs. They mind our children. They care for our old. Why do you look at me so, demon? I know who you are. I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit.
We can no longer live I wonder why Detroit was selected for the setting of this game because overall the state of Michigan isn't doing so hot. Maybe, maybe they'll explain it. Be creepy if I saw me in the window, wouldn't it be? Ugh, basically an Uber driver. Fail opening the door. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Cold dead eyes. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. I'm predicting it now. Those uh, those actions with the turn. It's gonna cause me problems in the future, and something bad's gonna happen. I'm gonna fail miserably. All right. Time to perform surgery. Not really. Uh, I can kind of understand why Skynet's about to happen. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? Pick it up. Faster. Okay. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. Up. You go anywhere. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it. All right. It's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. You damage it. I'm gonna have to find you. You can take your job next. I'm sorry about that. Pretty sure I heard this about immigrants. <laughs> My God. Customers are reminded that all androids must. They gave him the same green eyes. Oh wow, we have our own bus. Rosa Parks would be ro rolling in her grave right now, man. Jeez. Back of the bus we go. <laughs> it all ends. I had no choice. <laughs> there was uh, a couple other things could have possibly happened, I guess, but. It all ends with the bus ride. All right, moving on. I 
I think we're in Flint. Option. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of. God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Please don't make me clean. Oh, you're gonna make me clean. At least yeah, everything's yeah. done fast forward mode. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring it tomorrow. Yeah, hey, man. You, you get 10 cents for those bottles. This guy needs all the money he can get by the looks of it. Aha! Now I can look. They're building a skyway. Plant. We're literally gonna be trolling underneath the bridge here. Three downtown, Android band, two two three eight one. I'll remember this. <laughs> no exploring for you. Back to work. Team is that? What are you looking at? Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! I'll get back to work. Hey, he has a Roomba. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> what was if we would have said the floor was finished and it wasn't finished? He gave us definitely the back of the hand. What the hell is he doing? Oh. I see. This is like the future of Amazon we're looking at right now. <laughs> Soon you just have to think it. And it'll be done. Oh, 
ไหวพี่ไหวพี่Scrub the dub dub. How old is this grub? Kara. Yes, Todd. Bring me a cold beer. Right away. Thank God. Thank God you had some left. Seems to be fascinated with hockey. What are you looking at? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here! I'll get back to work. Okay. That's a Roomba if I ever saw one. Much quieter than mine. <laughs> You better stop that right now. Things a godsend, though. Why is she always pushing me? Always pushing. What's in the backyard that I need to check? Oh, the laundry. Man. There's honestly nothing worse than air-dried clothing. It's all hard and scratchy. Hate it. It's like the worst. Need that fabric softener. <laughs> Rewash. <laughs> no good. No good. Maybe I should talk to her. Aren't you going to school today? It's not very nice out. You might catch cold. I could get you a sweater if you want. Should have led with the game. Kids love games. What's the significance of the draft, though? Powder. Why are you living in the nineties? Red ice. You shouldn't mess around with my stuff. It makes me nervous. I'm sorry, Don. You stay the fuck out of my business unless you want to piss me off. You want to piss me off? No, Todd. Threat level red. Guy. Dude, you gotta get liquid stuff, man. Powder stuff ain't no good. Do you need help with your homework? Out of the way, 
for fuck's sake! I'm sorry, Todd. It won't happen again. God. I have to go all the way around to talk to you. Are you kidding me? I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Oh, Mr. Roomba, I'll do your job. Read it all, man, for all of you. People who like to read everything, that was your opportunity too. That's a pretty toy. What's its name? Neutral. All right, let's head upstairs. Surprise, there's a second level to this place, man. The ventilate. Tech addict. I, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm not reading those. Give me nightmares of my school days. Not reading anything unnecessary. Dude's balling out with Caracal speakers, though. Shit. Those rockets, though. to switch it on. Kind of has a bit of a slow start to this game, doesn't it? Heavy Rain had a pretty slow start too, as well. Literally feeding your children. <laughs> Porno! Porno! And now to sports. First up, basketball. As the Gears prepare for the critical match with Denver tonight at the Cyberlife Arena in Detroit. Le I'd love to watch, but I can't stay here all day. 225,000 jobs were lost from the U.S. economy in October, according to the Department of Labor, bringing the unemployment figure up to 37.3. Holy shit. President Warren spoke today at the opening... 37% unemployment rate. That's crazy. This guy's taking loans all over the place. Jesus. No! <laughs> New model. It's 
100 better than me. I'm the AX400. He was looking at the AX500. Watch it. Oh god. I don't even want to know what you What did you do in this bathroom? Do not go in there. Woo! Scrub vertically. I'm a good android. Do all the optional tasks. Why are you running? I just running? want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? I feel like some serious shit went on. I just don't remember what happened. Musky smell. Find the key. Find the key. Alice in Wonderland. Of course. Seems you like reading. That it? All right, let's talk. You and me, kid. If you give me some personal information, I could take better care of you. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. I feel like that's something I shouldn't talk about. You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. <laughs> What's in the box? What's in the box? The truth. The truth is in the box. That looked nothing like that little girl it was supposed to be.
in that picture. The girl that was there, Alice, she had dark hair. I don't even know anymore. Second family. What are you doing? Uh, I'm playing. You're playing. I know what you're thinking. Dad's a low life. Huh? Fucking loser. Can't get a job, take care of his family. Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. We got it all, baby! We got it all. Look at that. We did everything. What's up? We learned all the secrets. I want to know what happens next. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh, back to Jackson. Okay, I would, I would actually like to learn his real name at some point. Until then, I will call you Jackson. Woof! You're doing well for herself. Welcome home, Marcus. There you go. Marcus with a K. Oh, it's a fake bird. <laughs> I was like, show some decency, man. Well, at least they don't crap everywhere. Check myself out. Looks like he has an easy lift. Some sort of art dealer or collector. Or just super hoity toity. Wonder if it's made of real gold. Oh, it's hump. <laughs> it took me so. Is it? No, it's not. Oh, okay. Ah, I can see it either way. Oh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80 percent oh. humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. 
Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Playing doctor in the video game, I too. My eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. Lift with your legs. Was that your old cat? Wheeling around Professor X here. on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four or messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. <laughs> That's Any so news from Leo? Sweet. No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. I winded up your birdies for you. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Serve breakfast or look around first. I will look around first. Nope. Uh, I wonder if I could have came in here first. Who made it? Probably another maid. Stupid question. Not doing too bad. Still eating solid food. Forks on the left. Thank you, Marcus. Television. Ooh, the fancy high pour. That's how you know the place is legit. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. Time to snoop. Around. Got 
chess boards probably more than my house. Television off. Mankind is so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. 5,000 years of civilization just to get to where we are. Play the piano or play chess. Read a book. No. Maybe I'll play him some piano. I'm down. This is how you get the ladies, man. In reality, though, you want to be guitar guy, not uh, <laughs> not piano guy. Can't lug a piano anywhere with you, but everywhere with you. Uh, he feels like he's kind of melancholic right now. No one on planet, right? We got going on here. Basta. <laughs> My brain's got to melt. There we go. Got something out of it. Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Thank God, because I cannot play chess. I do that thing where you lose in one turn. Okay, wheel you around this way. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheep. That's a big hill, whatever it is.
of cleaning an artist place is a good idea. They're very eccentric on how they like things. Everything has to be in a particular order. Oh, found your head. Clean your brushes. Is that it? Nope. Something else. Something else needs cleaning. your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. Paint a desk. Paint Carl's painting. Can I paint Carl? What? <laughs> that is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Teaching me. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. It's a Mr. Miyagi thing, I swear. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. CPU about to overheat. Despair. So dark. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. F 
Hey, Dad. Leo. He needs money. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. He had the look of, uh, he had the I need money look on his face. I've seen that look before. <laughs> oh. So much other stuff. Could have played. Oh. Eh, didn't too bad. It branched off depending on what I needed to do and what I wanted to paint. Yeah. Could have changed that much, right? Right? Assure me, people. Universe is about to explode. Jeez, mm, man. No choice. Mr. Anderson. I know it's not going to be him, but I'm just scanning. That's supposed to be the guy that we met earlier. I kind of looked like him. You in the toilet? All right, man. Scan first before I go in there. Hair on point.
Oh, shit. <laughs> Dang. Wow. I did not think that the hobo would be the lieutenant. Lieutenant Anderson, what are you looking at? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I... am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Oh, tough guy. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. Do that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. <laughs> Memories of heavy rain. Listen, Shit. you really have to stop pissing me off if you want to make it through the rest of the night in one piece. <laughs> Josh Douglas for Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Typical DPD, they don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me! You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way, got it? Got it. Even at Hank, we were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. And it was find it very ironic they have an android block protecting the spawn that says no androids. <laughs> it's the irony. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated oh. assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a boiler. loiter. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Red ice. Where did you get that easy. from? Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till mor morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Oh my god, dude. You gotta stop putting stuff in your mouth. Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back one days. What do we know about his Android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. This 
Okay, I like the ladies. Played it fast and loose. Where did you get ganked, man? Tell me, where did you get ganked? What else we got over here? We got the knife, right? blood <laughs> Android sex officially better but I would say so we're taking samples for analysis. What? Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. I think there's more. Eh, Google's spying us on, on us anyways. It's kind of just a thing that you accept now. Okay, Chris, I, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done with Lieutenant. Hey Mike, you finished taking samples there? Jesus Christ. There's something else in the magazine. Maybe it'll become open once I examine the body. I think I was supposed to do that first anyways. Oh, I know. <laughs> There's definitely a dead body there. there. from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Evidence. 
Okay, let's do the first thing that we're supposed to do. Oh my god, that's gnarly. This guy got the Caesar treatment. We need that to see that he was dead. Oh, we slipped on a slipped on a bottle. Finished him. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Well, that is all the evidence. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. Question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the bat. Colonel Mustard in the Mine's library. The Go on. With the knife. Or the bat, in this case. The android threw the chair. No, that can't be right. It doesn't fit the evidence. Oops. The victim stabbed the android. Your story makes no sense. No. You've got to stick to the facts. The android stabbed the victim. The android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room? The living room. Okay, then he... Uh, okay. I thought there was something I didn't see in between. And he tried to get away from the android. Alright, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. All the way to the bathroom. It's on the roof.
that chair. Give me that chair. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, I'm check something. Oh, this is not... Nothing good's gonna come out of this. He hunged himself. He hanged himself. <laughs> no. No. Jesus Christ. Behind you. Behind you. Why wouldn't you call for backup? Why you do this? Gosh, there it goes. Maybe it's a child. Child android. No. Oof. I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now. Come on. Dang, rat out your own people. What the hell's all this? So much stuff. Okay. One more chapter. One more. One more. Eat when you're tweaked out of your mind. Come on. Realism here, video game. Your body would reject the food. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Spaghetti. Somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail, they're never tired, they're never sad. So fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking? 
fucking problem. Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant. It's all your fucking fault! Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! It's all her fault. I know it's her fault! A good fucking lesson. Oh fuck. That's what she deserves. First I need a little hit. You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. Don't move. Or took off without a work. Oh, I can't. Maybe I can. Oh, it's because I'm disobeying a direct order. It won't let me do it. Bust through! I tried. I tried. That's an order. You hear me? No. I want you to leave Alice alone. You want? What do you mean you want? You don't want anything. You're just a goddamn piece of plastic. I think you got a problem. We need to fix that. Good thing I left the gun. Ugh! Jesus! Come here, bitch! Oh, the block! You guys are wearing Birkenstocks. Uh. Scramble! No! Oh, what the hell? No! I definitely, no! I definitely want that. You do as I say.
Run away! You're making your shitty house even shittier. That's throwing haymakers, baby. Yo, kids. <laughs> Everyone on the bus. I could have shot him if I would have grabbed the gun. Oh, probably. What's the other option? What? <laughs> no. I want to know. Oh, okay, one more chapter. One more chapter. I keep saying that. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Oh, crazy son is gonna be crazy. Scotch, neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Oh, don't do that. I just stay here, man. We just wait for the car. I wonder if I could, maybe I could do like a Far Cry thing and just wait here for the cops. Do, do we want to test this? Yeah, let's test it. Maybe, maybe I can save the old man. I don't think so. Stealing my paintings. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Be reasonable. This isn't gonna get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? 
not perfect like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out right now. What makes it so special anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't? Leave him alone. Come on, let's see what you got. Marcus, don't defend yourself. You hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop it. What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Duh. Gotta break through. Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. I'm gonna destroy you. Then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody's gonna give a shit anymore because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. Carl, no. Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android? Fuck, dude. Are you serious? Wow. What? Can I replay? Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! Fuck it, I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. He has such cold eyes. <laughs> We already got the confession. Yeah, but he has these marks on his forehead. 
Well, so if it goes red, that means he's gonna self implode. Gonna asplode. Oh, what's his name? Well, he doesn't have a name. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? Feel like if I, I need to increase. You've refused to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. Is that what you want? If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. gonna do to me they're gonna destroy me aren't they no I think they just want to understand they know your master abused you it wasn't your fault why did you tell him you found me why couldn't you just have left me there I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. Gotta keep it within uh, that I... range. Not too high, not too low. I can't. tear you apart and analyze you piece by piece. They're going to destroy you. Do you understand? Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. Okay, too much, too much. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared scared he might destroy me scared I might die so I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach I felt better so I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed So I'll be saved. What? An offering? RA9. 
It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. Ah, <laughs> fuck. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. RA9. Who is RA9? Nothing. Nothing. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. Whew. Shit's tense in here. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. Oh, it's gonna blow. What the fuck are you doing? Move it. Okay. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Guys like Chris Redfield here. <laughs> Gotta get away with it this time. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. What the hell is that supposed to mean? That's some bullshit right there. The truth is inside. Yeah, he definitely could have self-destructed there. 100%. Okay. Last one. I have a feeling we're going to catch up with Kara, so we're going to see. Sadness. Oh wait, yeah. Thank you for using Detroit buses. <gasps> All right, end the line. End of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Wake up. We have to go.
Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. Cold as ice. That wasn't even worth asking the other one. Get that girl jacket. Come on, Alice. We've got to hurry. Don't get smoked by a bus. I wonder if I could rob the place. It's another yellow thing, huh? So, where do you guys want to? warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Change of clothes. <laughs> he doesn't need it. got to do it I'm sorry Alice but we have to do this Oh shit Oh my god <laughs> take the iPad too, man. Just take it all. Just take it all. She's not gonna put it on, is she? Get it in. All right. I have a feeling we can't really check the mo. Might as well check the motel because, yeah.
Four dollars. Four dollars. We don't got. I'll give you three fifty. Three fifty. Wonder if we can break in all the rules here. Clearly says don't walk. going on here can okay, I access oh Alice, you're freezing cold I'm okay I'm not so cold you have lost we have nowhere to go I know someone who can help you place for tonight. He was never there. Come on, Alice. Thank you for using Detroit buses. Check this place. Maybe they can help. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Can I help you? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Look, this is a convenience store, lady, not the Salvation Army. I can't start handing out cash to every bum in the neighborhood. What am I going to do? Rob him? Blind spots everywhere. Whoops, 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 whoops. Probably wouldn't accept it. We need more practical things. Oh, if I knock it over.
much. Gotta eat, man. Why? 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 What do you want me to do, game? Want me to beat this guy in? Do a girl. You all right? Are you hurt? Well, don't the worry. money. It's just a few cans. Come on, let's go. Shit. No? You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? I trusted you. You're right. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry, Alice. I'll never do it again. Till next time. something that hasn't unlocked yet. Oh. Oh god. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. Why a cutter? Oh, there's oh, there's a wire cutter in the um. There's a wire cutter inside the convenience store. So if you didn't rob the place, you could steal the wire cutters. <laughs> back to the scene of the crime. Why does if we go back in? <laughs> what happens? Oh no. That's where dreams go to die. I'm sorry. I almost feel that we should keep some of the money. So we have the extra cash. We stole it for a reason. Right, here we go. I give you tree fitty. license. 
I haven't got it with me. Please, the kid is tired. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. What a nice man. Have a good night. Good night. Let's go, Alice. Do you think he believed you? I don't know, Alice. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. What the hell's going on? A headbang a band or something? Turn it down. Give me your coat. Eat the chocolate bar. I have a chocolate bar. Are you hungry? Don't lie, you're hungry. Let's get these clothes off. They're soaking wet. I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. What have you done? Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. <laughs> Heartbreaking. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. Awkward hug is awkward. You should sleep now. We gotta run away in the morning. I'm going to turn off the light, okay? I guess I don't need sleep.
Don't worry. I'll just stand here and watch over you as you sleep. Oh, I thought she was going to lay in the other bed. Yeah, trusted. Oh, holy shit, look at that. Look at all the stuff. We could not give her the chocolate. Yeah. I guess we could have stole more things. But she didn't eat it regardless. Yeah, okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are well into Detroit Become Human. We're like two and a half hours into the game already. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this extended look and getting us right into the story. I can't wait to see what happens next. So if you enjoyed, as always, to help support the series and the channel, thumbs up is always appreciated. Once again, thank you to Sony for providing the review copy. And I will see you guys next time. As always, have a nice day.